Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So tonight's video is about the same motor I've done quite a few videos on. Um, I got all the circuits put on, everything since the last video. And um, the last video was 12 volt testing this. So today it's 24 volts. So we're using these batteries as 24 volts and we're charging these 24 volt batteries. And then I have a 12 inch prop on here, serve as the load. And uh, we have the pulse width modulator. We have all the output going into this cap dump, and um, this is a 100 volt cap dump, and it's set up for 60 volts. So you'll be able to see that on this voltmeter. And then here's our input amp meter. And um, this amp meter goes to 20, this one goes to 10. And yeah, then we're all set up. So those of you that haven't seen this, this is all optically timed has three circuits um, input output so input would be red and black output is yellow and white so that way it's real clear to see and yeah so let's fire this thing up so right now we're running one amp and um, this cap dump is actually set up for full power but um, so every time it power, powers, it's about 12 amps, and you can see the voltage goes up. So it triggers right around 60 volts. So that's that's a pretty big amount of power going into that second battery every time it fires. So at one amp, let's see what our, our RPM is. So one amp is 1,300 RPMs. Let's bring it up to, to two amps. So as you see, this is starting to go faster. Let's adjust this. There we go. So yeah, it charges really quickly. So at two amps, we're at 2,000 RPMs. Let's bring it up to three amps. Starting to get on the power band now. <laughs> So three amps for 2,400 RPMs, and um, you can see this going quite a bit faster now. And uh, you can see the voltage back there in the battery every time it fires. So let's bring it all the way up. So uh, full power, uh, no more pulse width. This is just 100%. We're five amps. And uh, five amps, we are 3,000 RPM with the 12 inch fan. So she's going real good right now. And then now we can see how fast this is going. Quite a bit faster. So this motor, even at full speed with no pulse width, it still delivers a lot of power back. You can see the battery voltage over there climbing really quick. So yeah, runs pretty strong. And these stayed nice and cool. Runs pretty good. So I'm gonna be running more tests and doing more videos on this video on this motor. So yeah. So thanks for watching and if you guys are if you guys are interested in any of these circuits. Um, they're available in my store, canergy.store. So, thanks for watching.